Hey there, Hexlings. I am Verna Hexer Hive Mind. In the last episode, we were chilling at the uh, Firelink Shrine, and we were thinking about what we could do with our souls. And what we decided was we were going to go pray to that statue to reverse our Halloween. And then I plan on returning to Firelink Shrine so that we can teleport to the first place we went to, go around, kill the guy with the Uchigana, and um, get into that tower and see what's inside of it. Okay, but why am I going this way? Whee! How much does the Northern Armor weigh? I can deal with it. I can deal with it. Plus, I like the look of this armor, too. Makes us finally stop looking like a cleric and more like a badass swordsman. I don't have to go that way. Let's see what our hollowing's at. It's gotta be something dreadful. 50 fucking 5. Holy lord. Okay. Yes. Woo! Our curse has been lifted, guys. There we are. Our happy little face. Okay. Um, how much does it take to level up? Yeah, well, this is what we'll do. Go back to Firelink Shrine. Then spend our souls for Welcome some. Husband. Very well, then take no. Okay. So since this scales better, if I put into this, it increases it by two. Hell yeah. Um. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into faith because we need to start bringing that up a little bit. Um, Farewell. I goodbye. So if you look up there, I mean, you really can't see, but uh, that that exit is covered by fog, so we have to go all the way to the Cemetery of Ash and run our ass around to get back to where we can fight the dude with the Uchigana. I don't know why they did it like that. It just doesn't make sense to me when you could just get fucked. Did I miss that? I thought I got that before. Well, we'll go pick it up. And you get us. Oh! And you get a spin attack, and you get a sl- oh, okay, oh, okay, maybe not, and you get a stab, okay. Ooh, you dropped something, what is it? Fading soul, nothing very useful. Okay, so, <gasps> okay, made it. Titanite shard, you see, that would have been very helpful early on, if I would have gotten that. Let's see if I freaking missed anything, Oh. Anything else? Almost walking off edges. It's okay. Did I not light this bonfire? I didn't even know there was a bonfire here. I'm guessing I didn't. <laughs> I did not. Well, guys, there's apparently a bonfire here that I didn't light. But it's okay. Run up here. There's these two peeps that I should be able to get with a single spin attack. And single spin attack. And it's damn. Makes me feel like such a hardcore mofo fighting the beginning peeps. Because they're so easy. So this is Fire Link. If I go in here and this gets clouded off, I'm going to be so mad. 
because I want to rest at this bonfire and not have to worry about running all the way back through half a fucking dungeon. That's so stupid. Ah. Udex Gunder. Muffin, get out of there. Muffin! Oh, shit. My cat is in a hole under my bed. So, that sucks. Uh, she came out now, though, so we're good. Fuck those two. Fuck you guys. Okay. Come around here. <sighs> the time has finally come. Ah! <laughs> I'm so scared. Yeah! Mess with the best, get wrecked. Uchikawada. Okay. Okay, so... Inventory... Uh, weapons... Uchikawa... Where is it? There it is. Unique katana characterized by the fire craftsmanship of the eastern land where it was forged. The finely sharpened blade cuts flesh like butter and causes bleeding, but also but breaks easily as a result. Hold. Assume a holding stance to rapid execute a lunging slash with a normal attack or deflecting parry with a strong attack. That's pretty cool. Um, but he also dropped his clothing. It was like the master attire. A terribly worn shirt. Men are fond of weaving tales to explain the regardlessness of their garb. My sixth sense warned me of danger, but I danced between furies of blades, unscathed, but alas, my clothes were went to tatters. The deprived only managed to rummage just enough cloth to protect their vital parts. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay, well, that was not to... The key was not to that, I suppose. But we did kill that guy and get a cool katana, so, I mean, hey, there's pluses to everything. But they said there was a, tire beh a tower behind Firelink Shrine that we could get into. So we gotta try to find that tower. Is that the tower? Well, how do... How the hell do we get over there? There's a giant undead tree there. Nope. Didn't work. Um, well, how are we supposed to get over there, guys? Tell me. Get stabbed. Huh. Well, there's definitely nothing weaving back from over in that direction that's gonna come up here. Is there a way through the shrine to get to it? Maybe if we go upstairs. I haven't really adventured around up here much. Maybe try going to the other side. I want to get into this tower and find what's up with the bonfire keepers. Or the flame keeps. Yeah, it was this way. 
Okay. Well, now we're at the undead tree thing, and the tower is back here, so that's really cool. Let's see what we can't find. What does this say? here we'll go into the tower then and continue on with our shenanigans walking up the freaking huge tower all right here we are there's crystals right there i am so tempted We can come back up. Oh, oh, okay. That was scary. Do you think that drop will kill me? I don't think it will. It fucking ran. You can run, but you cannot hide, Crystal Lizard! Twinkling Titanite. I haven't even found an item that uses Twinkling Titanite yet. Truth be told. It's behind this way. Way back up onto the roof, it looks like. Not much I could do. Still just running around and whoa, okay. Okay. Now we're getting to some cool stuff. Oh! You. You. Me. Me. Pickle pee. Me. Me. Pump the rum. Okay. I love you. They brought the crows back! Let's see if I have anything hard that I could try to give them. What if I drop a soul? You... You... Okay, so it didn't like the soul. Uh, let's try a rusted coin. What do you want? There's an Estes shard up here. That's good to know. Um, how about I feed you some alcohol? What's this do? A special brew of Swidgar of Katarina. Protect to travel in his jolly barrel mug. Restores HP and temporary boost frost resistant. Leave it to Swigard to discover a drink that even an undead can enjoy. Perhaps his long years spent undead have left him wanting to drain a cup or two and re revel as he were still among the living. Okay, well. I liked it. Oh, we got, we got, we got Solaire's armor. We got Solaire's armor. Chainmail armor and a white coat featuring a large rendition of the holy symbol of the sun. The choice attire of the sin regular knight of sunlight from a previous age. The symbol was painted <clears throat> by the knight himself, but the armor never bore any special power, sacred or otherwise. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, guys. We got... We got the sun, bro. 
it's okay. <sighs> Illusion ahead, try attacking. Whoa! Dude, this is getting even crazier. But before I go that way, I want to go back out onto the roof. I don't think I have anything else I can try to give you. And the only reason why I knew to do that, guys, is because Dark Souls 2, if you dropped, uh, like, a silky smooth stone or some other different items onto the crows, that they would give you other items. Usually they were Titanite shards and stuff of that matter, but apparently not in this case. Okay. Salar! We are with you, brother. In soul. and love. Okay, we're going up. We're getting closer to the sun. wonder why they said not here. Probably because you can just run around it and there's going to be absolutely nothing. Wait a minute. What if this is like an illusion? No. It's good to know that you have to attack the illusionary walls compared to Dark Souls 2 where you had to press A at them. And people would put signs down in front of them trying to be nice, but then you could never click the wall because you always read the sign. It sucked. What? Oh, this is the Bell of Awakening, isn't it? Firekeeper Soul. Well, I don't know the point of the Firekeeper Soul in this game if... Well, it's definitely a key item. Soul of a firekeeper who is said to have returned from the abyss. The firekeeper preserved the bonfire and served its champion. She is said to have soothed and accepted the dark sigil which has tainted her soul. And yet, her soul will one day embed itself into another firekeeper. Bosom of another firekeeper. I have an idea! I have an idea! Oh boy! I want to give this to the Shrine Handmaid. I do. I want to give it to her. Because she wanted to be a bonfire keeper. She wanted to be a fire keeper. So why not help her on her quest, right? I mean, we're all trying to achieve something in life. And she should not be um, burdened with the fact that she wanted to be a fire keeper but could not obtain it. Oh, shit! 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 Oh, shit. That happened. Guys, we fell off a cliff. I backstepped when I was trying to forward roll. Anyway, uh, properties 22. There we are, guys. Okay. This episode's got to be coming to an end soon. Actually, no, we still have like freaking 20 minutes. Holy God. I even noticed that. But it's okay. It shouldn't be too hard getting back there. I mean, it was fairly simple. Okay, so we're going to go back up in here. Take a right. Too soon. Take a right. Yeah, I'm still hollowing now. I didn't know if it completely cured it. But then again, there's never been a cure to the fucking... That was stupid of me to even think that it could have been that. There has been no cure to the dark sign. So why would I think that there was a cure to the dark sign now? And that god probably isn't that lady since we just... Well, it could be a statue of her and people re revel her as a god. Okay, so we got our souls back. And if that's the way we were trying to go, that's the way we fell. Okay, okay. 
landed it. Oh. What's this? That is... Okay, Firekeeper stuff. Cool! Alright. Let's drink it. Well, I mean, this is the Firekeeper's graveyard. That's what the key said, anyway. What do we have? Estus ring. A green ring crafted from shards, increasing HP restored by Estus flask. This ring was entrusted to a certain fire keeper, but in the end, she never met her champion, and the ensuing tragic f farce became a favorite tale of the masses. Man, shit is getting more weird. But at least for sure that we... Uh, at least it's for sure that we know that this takes place after the first Dark Souls. Which is really interesting. Because... That means Gwen is dead. This is after the second Linking of the Fire or whatever, you know? Like, uh, when our main character in Dark Souls 1 was like... <laughs> Sacrifice myself to the flames. Or if he decided not to, I guess. Could be either or. Um, what is going on here? Orndoy ring. You know what? This ring barely does anything, so I'm gonna put the Estus ring on because it sounds like a better idea. Now that I have that bonfire keeper soul, let's go this way. And see if this lady will take it. Oh, champion of Ash, do you wish to hear a tale? You know, in my home of Karim, I, I would be pleased to share the tale, although to be honest, but if I oh terribly sorry. Okay. Have a pleasure. You're not doing anything. Then um can I read the description of the armor of the firekeeper? There it is. A robe worn by the guardian of the shrine. The fire keepers were robed of light. Were robbed of light to better serve as vessels for souls. Only those who cherish the writhing, seething darkness were given the keeper's black attire. I guess we can try to talk to her then. Welcome home, Ashen One. Speak thine heart's desire. We can give her the soul. Let's do it! Let's do it! Ashen One, this is much like what lies within me. Then let it find its own place within my bosom. She will understand. We are both fire keepers after all. Forgive me, sister. May the flames guide thy way. Wait a minute, what? Heal! Heal! You will choose to heal the Dark Sigil! That, that says heal. Okay. I was like, why the fuck is that 41,000 souls? But that's probably 41,000 fucking souls because if it's saying heal, maybe it reverses Halloween forever. And that would be like fucking game breaking shit right there, man. And we did get another Estus flash shard, so let's go ahead and go give that to Andre. Um. Ah, tis good, wasn't he? Pretty be careful. Adios, Andre. What about you? Oh, how many? You don't got anything to you. Nope, you don't got anything. Ash. Shut up, lady. He's gone. Maybe he'll be back soon. We did tell him to go steal stuff, so... 
All right. I haven't rested there yet. I kind of wanted to adventure around on the roof a little bit more. Oh, shit, I locked myself out. Oh, well. So I guess this will be the ending of this episode, guys. Thanks for watching, even though I said it was going to be the ending like forever ago. Um, thank you for watching. Next time, we will continue down the, for the path of the Forest of Sacrifices and see what we can't get to. So thanks for watching, guys. I've been Vertihex, and I am signing out.